Lads, we're stood in front of an amazing automated system behind us. Ash, what's it doing? So this is the tower system uh, and we're showing it here, uh, um, loading and unloading a lathe and a milling machine. It's 4.6 meters tall with 28 levels. It gives you um, both high volume and it gives you high mix, low volume as well. Great stuff. I've never seen anything like this, Frederick. Tell us exactly what it's doing in this cage here. So the tower is taking automation to a whole new level. The idea is that customers who have very small batch sizes still want to run through their weekend. So we need to set up the machine as well, not only load the parts, but do the whole setup of the machine. So we're showing this in a cell. We're doing this both for turning or multitasking by changing the jaws on the, on the check of the machine. And as well as on the milling machine, we're changing the whole fixture pallet as well as changing the jaws on that fixture. So it's everything that can be changed by the operator. We're doing that with the robot. So basically, we're not eliminating, uh, eliminating the operator, are we? We're basically automating every system that they could possibly do. Ash, what customers in the UK are looking into this sort of, this sort of software? We do find that a lot of the customers are companies that either make their own components or make a lot of repeat parts. So there's a lot of planning and foresight in what, in what they can do. So, but as Frederick says there, the preparation of the machine can be changed easily. So it's aimed at that subcontractor as well that doesn't really know what might be in front of them in the next six months. So it's, it's really actually for everybody, isn't it, as well? So subcontractors, we've got lathe work, we've got mill work. Frederick, at the back with those discs, what's going on over there? Well, at the back, we're changing the grippers of the RoboJob servo gripper. So this is our RoboJob servo gripper, our engineering. So we have a big stroke on the 70 kilo robot of 120 millimeter, meaning I can do a very small diameter up to a very big one. And we can even change the gripper heads. So we can even do a bigger diameter. We can make the range even bigger or get a gripper to do the machine preparation. So changing those jaws, changing the pellet, all of that is happening at the back. I'm actually quite blown away by this system. I've seen systems like this before, but nothing as extravagant as this. Have you seen popularity with this in the UK, Ash? Oh, huge, yeah, we're getting some really, really nice inquiries uh, from all sorts of customers as well. So like really multi-million pound companies down to the smaller companies as well, yeah.